All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we're on day 15. This thing is like a puzzle. I can't see where the perforated part is. There we go. Okay. Day 15 on our international German beer journey. You got that out easy. Okay, yes. Well, less weight because we're further <laughs> along. This is a Burger Leechens Brauhaus by Hellbrosch Hell. A gin hug. Oh, there's so much going on there. I, I don't even know. Is it still for that? Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, and it, this one is made by, I haven't been doing this, but I'm going to do this tonight. This one is made by Herna Brau. Herna Brau. Out of Ingolstadt, Germany. Okay. All right. Okay. Love this, this little cursive. I wish I knew German. I could read this out loud to everyone, but I don't know German. So uh, maybe I can find it on their website. Check it out for me. First person to translate that entire paragraph on the front of this can. I'll have something sp special for you translated in my comments. That's the challenge for tonight, gang. All right, it's a hell. I wonder how they came up with that beer name because we don't really make those in America. That's like a German specific beer, okay? It's a curse word here in America. So it's probably why we don't brew it and probably why we don't name it that. It smells very sweet. Very sweet. Like almost like um, like corn, but I know there's no corn in this. Not my, not one of my favorites. It has like a creamy taste at the end there, which is very interesting. I'm gonna give you a C minus. Usually I like that style of German beer, but that's probably actually one of my least favorites during this whole international German journey. I was gonna say that's your lowest rating, I think. Yeah, C minus. For that box. Did not care for it. And actually, I think someone told me the 15th was their favorite. So can't wait to talk to you about that later. Remind me who you are. I know someone told me that. All right, 15 on the tailgate Aldi case. That, yeah. Feedback for you, Aldi. Work on your perforation, okay? It's supposed to help. It's supposed to be like a guide, but th this is just like an animal. I mean, my goodness. I spend more time trying to gently take this out than actually tasting the beverage. Oh, gosh. I feel like King Arthur trying to pull the sword out of the stone. I am worthy. Oh! All right, traditional Irish red ale. So those of you who like Achilles, that's what I'm imagining is gonna happen. People don't talk about Achilles anymore, uh, which is, I don't know how I feel about it because I haven't probably had Achilles in 10 years. So cheers to you Achilles. I wonder if they're still in, even in business. I have no idea. Okay, so here's something right off the rip. Killian's Irish Red is not this dark. This is more of like a copper, uh, like a caramel copper color there. No head came out as you, as you saw on my rough pour. This smells like so much roasted caramel and just roastiness. Oh, ooh, okay, that's the darkest red I've ever had. Was not ready for that because I, my mind said an Irish red, I knew what was coming. That tasted like roasted, roasted, roasted Starbucks in a beer. Um, and not like a porter roast, because not porter house, a porter roast, okay? Porter beer, okay, usually tastes a little roasty. This was like, this is like a wannabe, but just didn't happen right. Garbage? Mm -hmm. First night. Disappointing. I told you, Guy Fieri brokered a deal for, for my palate specifically, too. All right, here we go. Vista Bay. You made you, you gave me a pleasant surprise yesterday. Give me that green apple. New flavor. Two days in a row, Vista Bay. New flavor? Two days in a row. A new flavor. Peach. Ooh. Now, here's the question. Will it taste like a beautiful Georgia peach? Okay. 
Will it taste like Crown Royal peach? Comment on what your favorite peach flavored item is. Is it peach cobbler, peach pie, peach ice cream? Let's see if it's gonna be a peach seltzer. I don't know any other seltzer company that makes peach. I can't think of one. Disappointing. It tastes like, well, well, the aftertaste is very strong on the peach. I'm still tasting the peach. So kudos on knocking that flavor out. It's just the cell, maybe it's their seltzer. They don't, they don't really say it's seltzer. They always say it's, this is uh, gluten-free though, 74 calories, but it says it's beer. So even though the box says it's seltzer, the can says it's beer, kind of confused. Um, all right, so lots of homework to do for everyone. We're on the sixth day of Hanukkah. We got Wednesday and Thursday left. Hope you're celebrating Hanukkah. If you're not, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Try something new. Stay safe, and we'll see you soon.